So I started this episode with a fail. And this episode is about fixing the fail that you just saw. In a previous episode, I told you that 50% of the times the crane did a nice job and 50% of the time the crane crashed like you just saw. Well, now that figure has gone up until 80% of the times the crane is crashing. So I need to come up with a real solution. So if we look back in a bit of slow motion, what actually happened, uh, what you see is that the left support of the crane is lagging a bit and eventually the crane is twisted which results in a crash what you just saw so how to fix this problem well i think there are two causes that can cause this problem the first cause is that the motors don't run on the same speed well i think that's not very likely since they're the same motors i replace them and the problem remains so we can uh, rule that one out another possibility is that the left support has more friction going on than the right support which eventually also results in a lower motor speed of course but that aside so that's the problem here we need to fix the friction or something like that so i don't know yet how to do it but there are some ways maybe this problem occurs because only one side of the motor is motorized so what you then get is that you know you, you get a bit of a um, twisting inside the support structure that may be a cause. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna try. And if that's not a problem, maybe I have to add some spacing between the support and the structure around it. That is a bit tricky because you need the uh, you need this tight system to make sure that the crane remains on uh, in place. So I need to use wheels or something like that to actually lock the crane in position. So the first thing that I'm gonna try is motorizing both supports on both sides. And uh, let's see how that works out. So I've installed the drive gear on uh, both sides of the support and uh, also on the other side of course and we're gonna check it out now if it works. I haven't tested it yet, I wanted to share this uh, moment with you. Honestly I don't think it's a lot of difference. I was, I was building it and I was like well basically it's still the same you know. So I don't think it'll do much but we'll, uh, we'll have a look. So, enabling the power. And here we go. Oh, yes. All right, this is uh, still a bit wobbly. Oh no, you, you already seem lagging. Cut the power now. Now, if you look at this like this, you see, there's a huge difference. All right, so obviously this does not work, unfortunately, and I have to come up with another solution. So I said, some, I said something before, like um, I can add wheels to the sides to reduce the friction and stuff like that. But the problem remains, uh, mainly also the heights of the supports. And I don't think wheels on the sides to reduce the friction will solve this problem. So that means that we have to go and look for another crane design. Now there are two solutions. One I've already mentioned in another episode is that you place four supports in every corner and have a rectangle above it, elevated above all the tracks. And that way you only have to move this upper piece of the, of the crane. But that's gonna cost me a lot of bricks. So it's, um, I don't know yet. <laughs> Another solution is that I use a central pillar and use a bit of overhang on the left and the right to move the crane above the tracks. So let's say um, the overhang on the left covers the monorail tracks and the overhang on the right covers the railway track. And then in the middle you'll have a central pillar that will be, I don't know, the combination of the two supports that you see now. So that's a design as well. Um, that design will be less stable because you have just you know it's a T-shape, so it, I don't think it'll fall down if you have a wide enough support on the base. But um, it's not it's not optimal, I guess. So that's something I need to decide. So that's also a question to you: What should I do? Should I build a fully elevated rectangle, which makes the movable parts of the crane a bit smaller? 
Or should I go for the T-shaped grain, which maybe is a bit more unstable? So let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. And I hope I can work out the best solution. Oh, anyway, if you have another solution regarding this design, please let me know. Maybe I, I forgot something. I don't know. Uh, share your thoughts. Let me know. And uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.